All right, so now we can shift gears, folks, and do a final uh, look at the language on our youth council bill. Um, and I'm guessing that uh, that Amarin has had a chance to work on the tweak that we asked for. Where can we find that, Amarin? I did send it to Andrea. I don't know if she's had a chance to post it. it she says it's posted. posted. Okay. All right. Perfect. And what draft are we looking for? We are looking for draft 1.2 of H293. And if you will scroll down to page five, there is a new subdivision C that says the council shall annually report its advice and recommendations to the House and Senate committees on government operations and to any other standing committees it deems appropriate on the preservation of Vermont's traditions and the future of Vermont's rural character activities and professions. Committee discussion. Go ahead, Mark. Again, I appreciate the committee's working through this, taking the time. Um, it's, it's definitely making me feel better. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm on board. Great. Good deal. All right, are we ready to close up our work on this bill? Move it, 1.2. All right, draft 1.2 of H293. Madam Chair. Hey. Oh. Yes. I, I move we reverse the roll call. <laughs> and Just start kidding. with me? You want to start with me? <laughs> what a pace. You're, you're, you're messing with me. Uh, yeah, Hal's got it all in, in the, the right order. I withdraw my motion. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I will call the roll. Gannon. Yes. Mariki. Yes. LeClaire. Yes. Hooper. Yes. Colston. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Behovsky. Yes. Lefebvre. Yes. Higley. Yes. McCarthy. Yes. Copeland Hanses. Yes. The vote is 11 0 0. Excellent. Well done. Well done, committee. Uh, thank you for your diligent work uh, throughout this week. It's been a long week and a lot of different issues thrown at you, um, including some that that could have been contentious and uh, and were uh, were resolved through the hard work of this committee. So I do appreciate your willingness to put all all heads together to try to find a way to move forward on this. Um, I am going to ask Representative Merwicki to continue to shepherd this bill as he uh, as he took it out of committee last year. We certainly hope we'll give you a launch to get further than you did last year with it, because as everyone remembers, um, this bill passed just before COVID hit last year and our ability to to do all of the wonderful work that we wanted to last year was significantly limited. So. Thank you all for your time and attention to this. Um, and thank you for your great work this week. And please have a restful weekend because we're gonna have a lot of long hours on the floor next week. And when we're not on the floor, we will be in committee working on OPEB and pensions, the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> That's all right, the intent, anything else? isn't it? That's, that? That's the Hopefully. intent, isn't it? <laughs> it's true. Uh, Sam Lefebvre. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, with the rumbling that there might be an amendment to my bill, do we know if there'll be time brought up Tuesday for that? 
this is so fun that your very first bill to the floor, you get to experience an amendment as well. <laughs> I love it. You're getting all, you're getting put through all the paces, Representative Lefebvre. Um, so what I will plan to do is, um, is keep an eye on, uh, out for that amendment. I've seen a draft of it. I understand the rationale behind it. And what we'll need to do is find just 15 minutes in committee for the representative to come and uh, and give us her idea. And then hopefully we will also be able to hear at that point from the state librarian's office, um, whether that is a concern for them or whether that meaningfully changes uh, what, they're, what they typically do. Um, and then we'll decide at that point whether we support the amendment or not. Um, you know, we're supposed to start on the floor at 10 on Tuesday and on an ordinary Tuesday, we do floor and caucus and get back into committee right after lunch. But I would suspect that we will be going longer in uh, longer on the floor, possibly breaking for caucuses. And, and so what I'd like to do is just try to sneak in a 15 minute committee time whenever it is that we break for lunch. Um, cause I think most likely we'll either break for lunch before or after caucuses. And so, um, keep your eyes out for, um, an email notification from Andrea about when we can schedule that in. Cause it, I think it's going to be a little bit fluid. I guess the only other, I already, um, sorry, I already spoke to the libraries to give them a heads up because I let them know that I was gonna be presenting and then that got pushed back. And then I let them know as soon as I knew about the amendment and um, to, just to prepare them. Thank you, I really appreciate that. That will make Tuesday go much smoother. Um, I suppose the other possibility would be that we try to, to meet in committee um, before the floor starts on Tuesday. So I guess I would ask your opinion on whether we carve out 15 minutes of our lunchtime or whether we um, have a, a 9.30 committee meeting before the 10 o'clock floor. Tanya? My preference would be for lunchtime. I have a client from nine to 10, so I have to work during that hour. Okay, let's, uh, let's aim for lunchtime then. That makes sense. All right, anything else on your minds right now other than getting out of the chair that you've been sitting in for too many hours this week? Mike Merwicki? Um, I just have a process question, and I don't know if we need to be on about that, just to ask, since I haven't turned in a bill yet, um, should I talk oh, to Andrea you, about that? You have um, a good resource in the uh, opportunity to phone a friend, uh, Representative Colston, who is the expert on how to turn bills in, and he's, he and between he and Ledge Council and Andrea um, they've got the system down, so I'm sure they can stay on when we finish here and give you the 30 second tutorial of what you need to do. Thank you. Super. All right. Anything else? After we go off, I need to process question also about contacting Mary Hooper. Okay, great. All right. Thank you all. Have a wonderful weekend. I really hope that you get some fresh air and sunshine and maybe some.